G'day everyone, Rising Fun Gaming here, and today we're going to be looking at Monster Hunter Stories and the functionality of paintballs in this game. I got a little clip from Capcom TV last night, they showed us a little bit of new information, and I think some of you are very curious as to how the hell a paintball is going to work in a turn-based RPG version of Monster Hunter. Well, we're going to find out here. So obviously they are battling a couple of Apsaros. Our friends here are going to use paintball against both of them and then proceed to defeat them. Now, paintballs in this game have an RNG aspect to them, whether they're going to work or not. And it didn't work on the first one, but we will see here, upon painting this Apsaros and defeating him, he's actually going to um, get back up and run away. So that's what the paintball does. And why do you want this to happen? Well, you... Um, you perhaps want to get into a monster's specific nest. You want it to appear on the map, and that's what this is going to do. So upon painting the Apsaros and then defeating it, if the RNG is in your favor, the monster will not die. It will be in a very low health status, and of course it will want to wander on back to its nest and sleep to recover its health. So what's happened here on the world map is we've got this little green icon pop up. Now these green icons with the cave picture in them um, denote that that's a cave that has spawned thanks to the power of the paintball. We have marked them on the map. Now ordinarily you wouldn't see these green icons on the world map and the, um, the staff here is just explaining that there's another two green marks on the map because he's painted another couple of monsters before the broadcast um, just in case he had absolutely horrible luck and he couldn't get any to appear live so that's what that's about and interestingly upon going to the cave it is named as Apsaros Cave also interestingly here we saw as a bit of an aside the Rathalos running through the poison and not getting the poison effect I thought that was interesting to note as well, that that's a thing. So upon arriving to the nest proper, you can see our poor ailing Apsaros in the back there. Now you can go to the nest and pick up eggs as per normal, but obviously the monster doesn't have enough strength to chase you down. Also, just like other nests, you can pick them up and put them back down if you're not happy with the egg that you got, the characteristics on it, um, as example there. So. He's happy with the second one. Again, a reminder, eggs have all these characteristics like weight and smell and obviously the patterns, which can kind of get a strong guess towards what sort of monster is going to come out. Nothing is 100% in this game in terms of which monster is going to come out of any one egg. But anyway, they're back at the hatchery now and they're going to go ahead and hatch this and there's a good likelihood that it's going to be an Apsaros. Okay, so Tsujimoto also comments here that the background to the hatching is blue there. That just shows that it's a normal hatching, it's just a normal monster. You can get rare monsters in this game, and if you hatch them and there's a gold background, they're rare. Which is also very interesting. But yeah, that's how paintballs work in Monster Hunter Stories. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. My name's Rising Fun Gaming, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.